Okay, here's the, the tough job. This is one of my David Bradley walk behind tractors, and um, this is the transaxle that I'm trying to paint today. And the, the trick to this is how you do the bottom. If you're looking at the bottom right now, you can see. The, the two hitch areas, the one down here and then this one here, and you have it laying on its back like it is now, and you can get all underneath here, then um, this is all the hard places. Now on this one, I was not able to take the drive pulley off. It's one of the older ones. It has the, the pin right there, and uh, I could not get the pin out. Um, I, I tried every kind of lubricant. I even mixed the um, transmission fluid and uh, acetone that I saw somebody do, and uh, I worked a week soaking and re-soaking and hammering and soaking again and uh, if it moved any I couldn't tell it and then I tried it heating it up uh, three or four times and hammering it out and it just would not budge and uh, so it got to the place that I was afraid I was going to do damage. So you can see you know I took the blue tape and taped all around the um, the clutch and um, it's doing okay. Um, the trick now is to paint at an angle that you can get all of these hard in between um, places. The uh, the clutch was stuck. It took me a while working with it and. Uh, following Dan O'Connor's advice about spraying some uh, some lubricant in there and uh, but finally it came came loose um, you do have to pull mighty tight on uh, the clutch lever to get it to where it slips you know when it's uh, out of gear but it is um, it is loose so um, I do have the, the frame over there that I still have to um, see it laying there. And um, after I get finished with the transaxle, then um, I'll be priming it and um, painting it. This is um, the International Harvester Red. I like the richness of this color. Uh, you know, I did do one uh, Troy built red, and it seemed to have just a little bit lighter uh, red, maybe uh, almost a hint of orange in it. Uh, not a bad color, you know. Uh, you would have to see them next to each other probably to, um, um, to tell that there was a difference. But anyhow, I will. Uh, I do have this taped up. Some people paint the axles uh, I take this one um, this is you know, I'm always nervous about that you know will I be spreading the tires out or bringing them in you know to, you know if I decided to use it in a garden area this is uh, my number two tractor my number one is better shaped than this one and it's a newer one uh, this is one of the older ones and uh, but the, the the frame is in really good shape. Uh, I do have one. It, it will be one I use in the garden, and the frame is in kind of bad shape. Let me. Here we go. In my main bay area, you can see how crusty uh, the handle areas are. Um, those were taped. And then they had uh, some kind of um, handle on them. 
But you see what happens, it holds moisture in and um, I have hit that with a hammer to break loose some of the, um, some of the rust. I'm going to use um, a, a twisted cable wheel on it uh, to get the rest of it off. And then I'm going to buy the handles and see if the handles go on easy. Uh, maybe too easy. Um, I'll probably prime it, you know, and try it. And um, if there's not enough girth around this to hold the handles, I might um, wrap it in, in something that, you know, put um, some Bondo and then wrap around it to hold the shape. And. Um, and then whenever I take that off, sand it smooth and round and um, get it to where the handles will fit. But this is my roughest tractor. It was actually sitting in somebody's yard being used um, for yard art. And uh, I, the clutch is off. I'm going to put it back together. I do have all the, the BBs, the bearings and, um, and everything, but you can see, you know, it's pretty crusty and rough. But I tell you what, if you saw my other video, that twisted cable head uh, on an angle grinder will certainly make short work of that. So I'm anxious to get this one put back together. This would actually be the one I use in the garden. Um, so I've got it, uh, you know, it, I chose the one that um, was in the roughest shape. Now that I'm back here, let me show you my, my disc. And you can see uh, before I was telling you that these are thin. Um, they're just as thin as a pocket knife blade and I tell you what you can get them just as sharp but you can see uh, you can see right there see how it's out of round a little bit on the edges where it's crusty uh, there's some more that you can see the edges um, I might go see if I can find replacements for those at Agri Supply. I had mentioned that before. The frame is in pretty good shape. The rollers are okay. So I'll take this one apart and uh, clean it up, paint it. Uh, you can see the rims I've got back here. These are in really good shape. The best two out of these four uh, will go on my show tractor. And uh, there's the plow that was sitting behind that crusty uh, David Bradley uh, out in the yard. And uh, it, through the years, has had work done on it. Um, it's missing a roller, but I have a set of rollers um, so I can replace that. I did try to see if those two weights there, those yellow ones, would work. Uh, they are heavy. You can see that is a David Bradley, the red one, a David Bradley weight. These others, I'm, I don't know what the history is on those. Um, if anybody knows and will comment, maybe uh, maybe they go to something else. Maybe it was uh, to a suburban tractor or uh, a long tractor. Uh, you can tell by the by the diameter of the hub. It's not a, it's not a big, uh, a big weight, but it sure got the weight to it. That is my favorite tractor. That will be the one that will end up being my show tractor. You can tell by, let me walk over here. You can tell by the, the clutch pulley that it's one of the newer ones. And it's in good shape. It's not real crusty. Uh, the handles are in better shape than the others. And it does have the, the cradle on top 
for the David Bradley tank. I do have um, uh, a David Bradley Model 8 motor that will go on this one. And um, as a matter of fact, there's a, another cradle for a tank. Um, so um, hopefully by the end of summer, uh, I'll have these worked on, if not completed, at least uh, in progress. But um, I have to, going back in, I have to, um, well, let me show you. I showed you this will be the rim and the tire that will be going on this one that I'm working on now. They were in rough shape, and uh, so they'll go on this one. And just as soon as it dries, being painted on this side, then I will flip it over and paint the other side, the underneath. And um, then I'll do the same thing with clear coat and put it together, and I'll show y'all. The, uh, the hood that had been cut, let me go ahead and show you. This will be the hood that will be going uh, on this one. Let me turn this around. You'll remember uh, where they cut for the throttle and the choke and then for the uh, recoil. But uh, I had two sets of uh, letters, one the green, one and the yellow. You've seen the yellow one already. So this will be the one I'll put back on this tractor and I'll use the three and a half Briggs there to go on this one. It's a stronger one and it's easier to crank. I don't think I've showed you all this Continental AU8. Um, I've got most all of it. Uh, I don't have the cap, the cap for the um, for the spark area for the <laughs> what we call the distributor. But it's for for the coal and the uh, the points are. But here's my number eight David Bradley that will go on the the show tractor. This one will go on. Uh, uh, on this tractor because the hood's already designed for it and uh, my garden tractor I don't know I've got a, uh, a model 6 Briggs from the early 1950s but of course these aren't going to be real powerful motors um, so I don't know I might get uh, I might do like uh, Tracy the farm alarm did and uh, take a, a Predator engine because they sit at the 45 degree angle and, uh, and put it on one. I thought that was ingenious on, on his part uh, to think that through. And, uh, and then he has the uh, Continental AU8 sticker on his uh, gas tank. But that was very smart, Tracy. Uh, I like that kind of ingenuity. Okay, well... I'm sitting here watching Bonanza in my shop, waiting, watching the paint dry. So I'll check y'all later.